A lot of people wonder what it's like being a journalist at a football match. Well, it's a strange but enjoyable experience in the press box at the Technique Stadium with no crowd. So let's find out what it's like to be a newspaper journalist. Here's Liam Norcliffe from the Derbyshire Times. Yeah, well, I've been doing the job now for coming up to two years. Obviously, I took over from uh, Graham Smith, who did a fantastic job. I'm really enjoying um, the job. I um, feel very privileged and, and lucky to be doing the role, particularly this season, when uh, fans would uh, love to be here. So I, I do feel very lucky that I'm able to uh, still attend matches. But yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. You know, I always wanted to be a football reporter. So to do it for you know a great club like this, who are on a fantastic run with a you know a really exciting manager and a good group of players at the minute, it's uh, it's probably been the most en most enjoyable that it's been for me. I've we've I've been here like I say for sort of two years or so. We've had John Sheridan was here for sort of four or five months when I first started, and then it was obviously John Pemberton. Uh, and now I'm on to my uh, my third permanent manager. So uh, who knows how many it could be before I leave, but uh, yeah, it's going well so far. Yeah. Phil Tooley of Radio Sheffield and the club website says there's nowhere else he'd rather be on a Saturday. So it's a privilege to be able to, to come and, and report on BBC Radio Sheffield and also do a column on the club's official website afterwards where it gives me a chance to consider the, the type of the match, but you know, it isn't the same without supporters being here and, and how much they've been enjoying it just at the moment you can tell by the comments that are on social media with the coverage from the uh, from the broadcast that are sent over but uh, you know you, you, you need to be in here to feel it and I, I i feel it being empty when there are no fans that's not a literal term just em empty in your heart almost because football for me is all about supporters I, I, i'm not a television football watcher at all i, I need to be at the game live and i'd, I'd rather be at a, at a non-league game live than at a Premier League game watching it on television every time. You can also get a running commentary from Elastic FM with Eric Nixon summarising. You can hear what the players and referee are saying. And look at who's directing operations. It's always important to remain neutral in the press box and a good journalist is always impartial. So what's it like doing the post-match interviews with football managers, especially when they've lost? <laughs> good question. It's, um, it's difficult to be fair, it's not as, as easy as what some people might think. It's, um, it's a fine balance really because you've got to be asking the questions which the fans want you to ask but at the same time you need to be fair, you need to be respectful. It's not about shouting and, and, and abusing a, a manager, it's just trying to get those answers which, which the fans want. So it is a very uh, fine line. It's probably one of the most difficult things in, in journalism, actually. You know, there's, there's, there's not that many good, um, probably, interview, uh, interviewers out there, if you like. Um, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tough job. Yeah, James is a terrific, uh, to use his own phrase, a, a great human being. That's the phrase he likes to use. He's very truthful. He baffles us all with his science in some of the post-match interviews. He's obviously been over the statistics when he looked at me. He quoted on, on Tuesday night after the Eastley game. It was the first time that Chesterfield had made more than 500 passes. Well, I don't think he was doing five bar gates while he was standing at the, uh, at the edge of the pitch. Well, George Foster did the post-match and he can certainly talk. Uh, there's no problem getting him to answer a question. That if we perform to our, our maximum, that uh, we were capable of winning the game, which, which we did. They're on the back of a very good run. In fact, George is still talking. Well, I, I think to come here and in, in what, what was coming out in the press and what have you was that, you know, they really fancied their chances. You know? Everybody's filing copy now to newspapers, websites and social media. The post-match interview is now officially over, but 
George is still talking. But Addy, Addy comes in and, and Addy goes, oh, jeez, yeah. God, fitness levels. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's the build. tempo, yeah. whoa, the tempo of the yeah. training. That's yeah, making a big difference as well. Isn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, and when everybody goes home, Liam's still in the press box typing his report.